Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to thank the Washington Center for Yemeni Studies for the kind invitation to deliver this opening remarks at the Yemen in the Scope Conference. In fact, Yemen as a state, society, history, and geography did not receive proper studies and attention as it should. Yemen mostly seen through the lenses of regional dynamics, security threats, or the humanitarian crisis. Various readings and analysis about Yemen were deficient and mispresenting. Therefore, the essence of war and its impact on political, economic, social, and humanitarian aspects were not fully understood. Unfortunately, this deficient readings guided some formal and public international positions toward Yemen and had negative impact on the lives of Yemenis and peace processes. Yemen is a complex country in terms of social fabric, geographical nature, and political history. The Houthi ignited war and Iranian interventions further complicated the scene. It caused state collapse, changed the political map, and amplified war economy. We lost two decades of development and an entire generation did not receive proper education. Therefore, the pre-war facts and recognized realities became out of context. The discussions on uh, peace opportunities and processes have to take these changes into account. Such initiatives, conferences, and think tanks specializing on Yemen are important because they allowed serious debate and produce in-depth knowledge that help decision makers, national, regional, and international actors to develop visions and take the right decisions. As I speak to you, we have an unprecedented truce. The truce is standing for six months and it was extended twice. Currently, there is an international and regional momentum to extend it and move towards comprehensive peace talks. Our position in the government from the first moment was to fully support any peace initiative and to partner with the UN and international community to make this effort successful. The truth from the very beginning was supposed to pave the way to the comprehensive peace talks. Yet we still negotiate truth terms on the part of the government. The Sana'a airport was opened and the fuel ships were allowed into Hodeida seaport. Among the speakers in this conference are uh, former U.S. ambassadors to Yemen and they know that this issue could have been s resolved years ago if Houthis stopped their maneuvers and refusals. On the other hand, Taiz Road are not reopened which is a humanitarian issue in the first place. We are not talking about exchange of concessions. Uh, it is uh, all about confiding, uh, confidence building measure that enable us to move to discussing complicated and difficult files in military, security, economy, and state institutions. If a peace agreement is uh, reached, these files cannot be addressed at once, but rather as a part of well-defined timetables, uh, metrics for implementation. Therefore, failure in confidence building efforts is not a good indicator in the course of peace track. In the meantime, the outcomes of any peace negotiations require a platform to implement it. And this platform is a state institution. So supporting government's efforts in building state institutions should be an integral part of international community program for Yemen. Currently, the government is fully functional from the interim capital of Aden. Its main program is to consolidate state institutions and alleviate the suffering of Yemeni people. We are facing complex challenges, war context, recurrent political turmoil in our territories, economic and security challenges. Our resources are scant and the economic support is limited. 
Since the Saudi deposit in 2018, the government did not receive concrete economic support, except for one Saudi fuel grant for the electricity sector. Meanwhile, there are good indicators as we hold serious discussions with our brothers in Saudi Arabia and Emirates on the economic support package that was announced last April. Yet we manage to make progress uh, in state institutions. Uh, public finance is uh, getting stronger and dynamic. The central bank effective, uh, the other institutions are expanding their activities every day. The state visible and provide the minimum level of uh, services, including electricity, water, health and education. The presence and the stability of the government in Aden for more than a year helped, an, uh, helped in expanding our uh, reform plans various in various uh, vital sectors. The year 2021 witnessed a sharp depreciation in uh, the national currency. We managed to contain the depreciation using a monetary and uh, strict monetary and physical policies. The government followed a strict monetary policy and adopted decisions to raise revenues, oil and non-oil revenues. We reduced budget deficits from 54% in 2020 to 35% in 2021, and we plan to reduce it less than 20% this year. We are working on dismantling the influence of interest networks and war economy by enforcing laws and regulations. For example, we impose regula regulations and measures and revoke monopoly in the fuel market and made a good progress in amending the relation between government and local authorities. Our priorities for the next year is to include more young people in a state institution and in the key positions, continue the regulations in the fuel market and resume functions of some economic units. We hope these efforts make direct impact on the economy, basic services, and humanitarian situation in the country. The situation is still catastrophic and we have a lot to do at all levels. We are aware that the overall situation is fragile. The course of events at all levels, the domestic, regional and global are unpredictable. We fully understand that, but we work with the cautious optimism. Thank you.